Hey guys, Silly here. Um, I got uh, something really special in this box here. Just got this box in. Let's take a look what we got inside. It's a pretty big box. I didn't expect the box to be quite so big. I don't know exactly what's in it. And I don't think it needs to be such a big box, but anyhow, I'm not going to complain. Okay, so let's take this guy out. So, inside here we have this black box. And what's inside here? Nope, upside down, of course. Extreme ratio knives. Now I'm sure, like always, you can guess what it is based on the YouTube title, but I have never seen this and opened this yet. So I've never bought an extreme ratio knife before. It's got a pretty good, nice box. Um, let's see, first some paperwork, uh, warranty notice. Simple enough. Of course, as you can see, first language, Italian. What else we got here for paperwork? Uh, another one. Some more languages, I presume. And the knife. What's this? Oh, this is some strapping, Velcro strapping for the sheath. Just some tie-offs. I'm not going to bother opening all this up. Here we have the Ziploc Extreme Ratio Ziploc bag. You gotta love it when knife companies shell out that extra couple bucks. A few cents for this, a few cents for that, and give you a nice good packaging. Now, so as I was saying, these tie offs for the back here. Lots of options to tie it down. I would assume it's mostly for leg. I don't see anything for your belt. Maybe this would go, your belt would go through this section here, and then you would use whatever ones you like of these to tie off to your leg. Now, buttons have a logo on them of some sort. Doesn't appear to be the extreme ratio logo, whether a flower or a, a shark. I would say a flower. I'll take some photos of it after. Maybe somebody can help me. Now this is a really cool knife. It's a folding knife, but in the sheath, it you, you sheath it as a as a fixed knife, open position, in order to they say in order to for quicker deployment. So let's deploy it. Oh, wait, wait. What do we have here? So we have a loop here. Oh, it's an elastic to kind of hold it against. Oh, I guess that's what this tie is for. So, you've got a tab here for opening. Got a, uh, a glass smasher on the end. Pocket clip. Now, of course, the pocket clip looks really small. But in folded position, I would assume it wouldn't quite look so small. So it's pretty tight in there. You can feel it rubbing as you pull it out. You can see some markings on the blade here where the kydex is rubbing. Oh, that's my kydex sheath. So this is the extreme ratio. Um, let me try to get this pronounced right. Gloca B1. So made in Italy. Yeah, you can see the logo there, the title there, the Gloca B1. Very, very, very interesting knife. Let's start back here on the back. Let's try to figure out how to do this. Pull this tab out, and you got a blade in here for cutting strips. I would assume it would be good for those, you know, plastic ties, zip ties, we call them. 
blade has a very interesting shape and edged all the way to here, edge, 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 and some serrations. It's a very interesting blade shape. Now, lock. Unlock. And we have a, uh, a liner lock as well. So it's lock position, liner lock, unlock, and closes down. Now, in this position, you know, it's not a very deep carried pocket, and it's kind of on an angle. Mm, I don't know if this is going to sit nicely in your pocket very well with that pocket clip, but that's okay. One thing I don't like about the pocket clip is it does hide the logo. The logo's on this side and on this side, but you can't see this side because of the, the, the pocket clip. I, I prefer without the pocket clip. Um, it's a flipper as well. Doesn't flip out too well. You would need to give it a snap. Um, it's quite interesting. Take a look at it. The handles feel real nice. They're, they're grainy and uh, grippy, but not too much. You got all of the blackness of it too. It's just, just sharp, sharp, sharp. Um, I wonder what these screws are for. Taking a look at them, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. Hmm. Not sure what they're for. And I wonder what these holes in the in the flipper and the, I guess it would be a finger guard. I wonder what these holes are for. Because you're not going to tie anything to them, especially this one, because it's you want it to go in and through. Maybe these screws are for like creating it, maintaining a fixed blade so that it would, it's impossible to fold. But that liner lock's pretty solid. I don't think you need to worry about that collapsing in on you. And this extra lock helps as well. Now, it doesn't stop the liner. Oh, it does. This actually opens it up and allows the liner to come all the way, all the way out. This is a really interesting knife. Double sided thumb pegs. I'm going to try to see if I can get it to flip open. Oh, yeah, no problem. Interesting inner hand. It's got a nice grip. Now, this jimping up here is, uh, I don't know what the point of that is. This, this, you know, flip here or whatever you want to, whatever this thing, this guard here. It makes this jimping pointless, and this jimping in here you can't get in at that either. So this jimping is all pointless here. But the grip here is it, solid. You know, you got a little extra cutout here for fingers, and oh yeah, it feels real, real tight in your hand. Really nice. Oh, you know what this is probably for? Yeah, it's for the pocket clip. There we go, pocket clip, pocket clip, pocket clip. Do not cut metal. So this is, I think that they call this like a um, handcuff cutter, but I guess they want to mention, you know, it's not for cutting real handcuffs, it's for cutting zip ties. And I'm sure it would have no problem clip, like a pair of scissors, rip through some, some ripping through some uh, zip ties. It's like really nice, really nice, man. I really like this blade. This, this tip is fantastic. It's very interesting. Well, anyways, ran out of battery, so I switched it over. I'll link these guys together later. Um, flathead screwdrivers for the pivots. Everything's uses flathead. Oh, these are T screws. Flathead, flatheads. Wonder why they use so many flatheads and T's here. Why wouldn't they use flatheads there too? Anyhow, that doesn't really matter much. Nice, nice feel. So there we go. Here's the extreme ratio. <laughs> Made in Italy, Glocka B1, fixed blade, folding knife, very interesting. Okay, anything else? This Kydex looks pretty good too. I wouldn't say it's the, the, the best design of a Kydex sheath, but it, it's 
It's nice, nevertheless. And there's actually a magnet in there. Also oh, nice. Oh, so so interesting. Egg. Yeah, and there's a magnet inside the kydex. Wow, so so cool. Anyhow, guys, that's it. There's your stream ratio Glocka B1. Enjoy it. I'll take some more photos now.